The way that I would debug applications in the past used to look something like this. I'd get an alert in Sentry, I'd check the stack trace, and I'd look at some session replays. Sometimes that was enough, but a lot of the time, important context was missing. And that context usually came in the form of logs. But the problem is, those logs weren't in Sentry. So I'd go to Vercel and I'd check my Next.js logs, or I'd go to GCP and I'd check my logs for the backend service. And then I'd try to put the pieces together. But from time zone differences between the server and the user actions and things just not ending up, there was a lot of noise and not enough signal. I've been using Sentry logs for the past couple of weeks, and it's been really dope to see all of that information all in one place. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say you have an application that's a game called Logmaster, and you want to make sure that you're tracking all of the user clicks and all of the interactions. To access logs in Sentry, you go to the Explore tab and you hit Logs. And here you see all of the logs. You can filter by your application, you can filter by the environment and the time range. But the most powerful thing is the search. Because logs are high cardinality, any attribute on the log can be searched by and that value can be pretty much anything. So if we look at a log destroyed log, you can see attributes that Sentry passes along by itself, but then all of the attributes that you set on that log. And with our data scrubbing functionality, things like credentials will be automatically filtered out. So now if I search for a specific player ID, I can get all of the logs associated with that player. To get set up with logs in your application, all you have to do is enable logs in your Sentry init, and then you can also bring in some integrations. For example, I have the console log integration to get all of the logs from my console to Sentry. And in the game, you can import the Sentry logger and pass along any information that you want to it. And now when you're debugging an error, you get the stack trace, you get the session replay, and you also get all of the logs associated with this error. This is super important. And beyond just regular debugging, you can set up alerts and dashboards like anything else with Sentry and monitor your application in so many different ways. Logs are generally available across pretty much all of the SDKs that we support. Take them for a spin and let me know how it goes. Thanks. See ya.